lot of people have been asking questions, so I wanted to take a minute and um, kind of do some questions and answers and talk about um, the tools. But when you order a cup edging tool, these are your colors that you can choose from. Um, and I apologize, the lighting kind of sucks. So they're kind of hard to see. So we'll start here. This one is Pixie Pink. This one is Wicked Purple. And I know it kind of looks dark. It's kind of a, let me see if I can, it's kind of a dark purple color. Then you have Magical Blue, which is kind of like a Tiffany or Robin's Egg Blue. Um, you have Tardis Blue, which again, is kind of hard to see because it's dark, but it's a kind of a dark royal blue. You have Zombie Green, Pumpkin Orange, and Blood Red. So those are the colors. If you select um, the any color option on the website, it will be one of these colors that you will get. Um, in the next batch, we are also adding back in black. Um, we did some of those at the beginning, and there's been some requests for um, the black ones to come back. So that one will get thrown into the any color um, mix also. But So those are the colors. And then when you get your package, it comes like this. Um, I've, I've updated the sheet, but there still are some old sheets out there that show the old adjustment pieces. This is the new one. Um, so let's see if I can break that glare. This is the new packaging. The information and the instructions are the same. The only thing that's changed is the picture. But if you do get um, the old um, instruction sheet and you're like, what are those things? Those were the old adjusters. There were some problems um, that people, when they received them, they reported. So we changed the design up a little bit. And so that's kind of what I'm going to talk about today because the majority of the ones out there and any of them that are being sent now are the, the new design. And so we'll talk about those. So in your package, you have your tool. There is a small um, bag that in, contains um, three razor blades and then your instruction sheet. Um, this just kind of tells you how to change your blade out, how to install your blade, and how to adjust your, your tool. So we're gonna go over that today, but you do get an instruction sheet. So when you first get it, it is set to the max height, which is just about a half of an inch. And that will give you your wider um, cuts on your cup. So if you want to glitter or you want your, your top rim to match your bottom rim as far as the, the depth, that will be the, um, the height that you set it at. If you prefer a thinner rim, you will need to adjust it. And we're going to do that first. So you just go in. There's screws on the back. You're just going to, I just kind of loosen them a little bit. And then I turn it over and then you can take these, um, the nuts is what I call them, um, off with your finger. So you're just going to take those off. And then you've got your blade holder and you're going to take it off. So let's say I want a thinner rim. So I'm going to remove, I'm just going to do half. There's 10 different um, or 10 washers per side. Um, to give you your adjustability and they are little and they are kind of hard to, to deal with but they do provide um, more adjustment ability than the other pieces we have um, but I'm going to go ahead and do half and I'm going to do five on each side so I'm going to go ahead and make sure we have five and then what I do with my washers that I'm not using as I put them in my baggie I'm going to take one of these blades out and then I just put them down in my baggie so if I want to adjust later I can do that so now that I have my height set 
um, to where I want it. And you can, of course, measure and, and set it to where you want. I'm going to go ahead and install my blade. So I'm going to go ahead and put my blade holder on. Remove, well, I guess you could actually leave the protective layer on when you do this. There is a little notch. Let's see if I can pick this up so you can see. A little notch in the blade holder. And if you slide your blade in from the side, and of course I'm doing this with the nuts off, it'll kind of lock into place. You'll kind of feel it click in a sense. And so you just put your blade right in there like that. And then you're going to put your nut pieces back on. And the lower you go, you will have some of the screw exposed. Um, and we had to do that to allow for the adjustment for the taller pieces, but it doesn't affect anything. Um, depending on how you hold it, um, if you try to hold it like this, then it may cause an issue. Um, but I finger tighten it down, and then I'm going to take my Phillips screwdriver, and then I'm going to twist and tighten that up. And if you notice that your nut is spinning when you're um, tightening, just kind of put your fingers on it like this to hold it um, down and then tighten that way. Um, that'll keep your blade from sliding around. So if you get that down good and tight, your blade shouldn't go anywhere. You should be set to go. And of course, this blade still has the cover on it. But at that point, you'd be good to go. I'm going to loosen it up a little bit because we're going to cut a rim again on one of these cups. So I need to take that blade cover off. And then you slide it out from the side, being very careful um, not to cut yourself. And then just slide it back in. And then I'm just going to tighten it down now that I've got my blade exposed. I should have just done that in the first place. Okay, so I have it nice and tight. So you have two different options on how you can use the tool. You can use it um, if you have a good hard flat surface, use it on your table, take your cup and use it this way. Or you can also take it and the platform's big enough you can set it down like this and turn your cup on it this way. I prefer to do this way um, because it gives me a little bit more control, um, but it will work the other way also. But we're going to do it this way. Um, you can see I've already cut a rim on this cup, um, but it, I didn't have another one that was needing cut today, so I'm just going to cut it a little bit um, taller just uh, for the thing. So I hold mine by holding my, my side like this, and then I press down on it firmly, and then I take my cup here, and I'm going to twist my cup on the cup. So you take it like this. To me, this requires a little bit more force, and there's kind of more room for error, but I'll kind of start here. But you can see where it's cut on top of the cup like that. To me, I don't have to apply as much force um, doing it this way. And so it's just found for me, like my hands, if um, you have like arthritis or, or hand issues, I get hand cramps a lot because I use my hands so much. And so I don't have to grip as much when I do it this way as I do when I do it this way so my hands don't cramp. But I have seen a lot of people that prefer this way and that's why we made the space so big. So that way it won't fall into your cup and give you a wonky edge. It'll sit flat on your cup and you can turn it that way. So it's just kind of personal preference at that point. And your edge is gonna be the same either way. Um, if you do it this way or you do it this way. So if you start like I did this way and you're like, ah, I don't like that, you can turn it over and just keep going. And so you're just going to keep turning that cup while pressing it up against the blade. You guys see? And if you've done fabric tumblers, you know there's a sound that they make 
when they cut through. Um, it's not really a, a, like a grinding. I don't know how to explain it. But once you get through those layers of Mod Podge and the layers of the fabric, it kind of makes the sound and you know you've finally broken through. So you're just going to keep cutting until you hear that sound. Just keep going around and around, which I'm starting to hear it. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up at my seam. Because that always seems to be the place that it sticks the most. And you can see in the other video, there were places like it stuck. And so all I did at those is I just went back while I was peeling and just kind of cut it again. Um, but so it's cut. So now I can just take it and then just peel it right up. And if you get to a place like that, that you're kind of stuck, just put it back on. And cut right through it. There you go. And then just keep peeling all the way around. And sometimes, like I said, in your seam, you'll notice that it didn't cut all the way through. So you may have to go back through that. Um, and this is Mod Podge that you're seeing there. Um, but you can see that it's a nice straight edge. And now what I can do is I can clean up um, this Mod Podge that's stuck on here and then remod podge to get my seal and then this cup is ready to go. And like I said, you can also use it on the bottoms like I did for this one. So that's how it works. Now these blades, they're not meant to last forever. And so um, when I'm doing cups, there's times, depending on how many layers of Mod Podge I put on my cups, I have to change my blade um, for every cup. Because what happens is, is on your blade, when it hits the steel, it actually curls the blade. So if you're really grinding into that steel, it's going to curl your blade and dull it. And so if you're noticing that um, you're getting more of those spots that are missed or um, it, it kind of starts dragging on your fabric on your cup, change your blade. Um, the blades aren't expensive. Um, I do send three with it, but of course that's not going to last you forever. Um, Harbor Freight, you can get a hundred blades for like four or five dollars. Um, Lowe's has a little bit higher quality blade. Um, and I think it's like a hundred for six dollars. So there's lots of options for blades out there. And, um, you know, like I said, they're, they're not expensive. Um, so you may want to invest in a package of blades. I can generally, for the most part, do three rims before I start noticing um, that my uh, blade is dragging. And you'll see it. And this one, will, I'll show you kind of what happens. So when you start cutting, if I have a good spot to show you. Okay, here's one. So when you start cutting, it'll kind of grab the fabric. And can you see like there where it's buckling? It'll start doing that to your fabric and it'll start buckling. Your blade will drag and you'll notice these. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see it. Stretch this fabric a little bit. So you'll see that. If you start seeing that when you're cutting your cup, change your blade. Um, it's the best best thing to do and then it won't drag anymore. It'll just be a straight cut And then if for instance, it does do that Just take it before you remod podge to create your seal. Just take it and then you can just smooth it Right down and then you can't see the buckle. You're gonna mod podge over that To um, Here's another one to get that seal of mod podge you want to make sure even after you've edged, you go over one at least one more time with Mod Podge and get that edge so that way your epoxy doesn't get under your fabric. So you can correct any time if you do use a dull blade, um, you can correct that with that, that edge there of Mod Podge. And you can see that good on this one. And once you get epoxy on these cups, you can't hardly even that ridge it's not noticeable um, but these are some cups that I did from 
the live the other day. Um, this is one I did, and I did the top and the bottom, so I can glitter. I'm going to glitter um, the top and bottom edge of this cup, so I did a wider cut. Um, this is one I did a little bit thinner rim, and you can go pretty thin um, with these if you prefer a thinner rim. Um, I believe when we measured, it was an eighth of an inch, um, but when we added these adjustment pieces, um, it kind of created a little bit more variation because the old ones were an eighth of an inch thick. Um, these pieces are a little bit thinner, so you can probably actually go a little bit thinner um, than an eighth of an inch, but most of the people that we talked to said that that was about the lowest that they did was an eighth of an inch. So you can go down to like two washers and that's about your eighth of an inch. And I apologize for not having another cup so I could show you how thin that was. Oops. And the thinner you go is when you kind of notice those nuts um, pieces spinning when you're trying to tighten them. And then, like I said, and I'm not going to do this with the blade in there, but I'll just, actually I will, just to show you guys. Just, like I said, use caution. So as you're twisting, just kind of hold. You can see where I've got my finger. I'm just holding that black nut piece down. To keep it from spinning so I can tighten the um, screw on there so that way I can get it down so there that kind of shows you the focus focus on my wrinkly finger there we go how thin of a rim you can get um, with that and then, of course, like you fill it all the way up and you get a, a thicker one like this. And, you know, the it's kind of a pain in the butt to have to adjust it, especially if you're switching your rims a lot. Um, I know a lot of people have um, order two so they can have one set for their thick rim and one set for their thin rim. Um, but it doesn't take a lot of time to switch it out if, you know, you just want to do one. Um, what I do with mine is I'll go through and I'll do, like, for instance, if I have a bunch that need um, the thick rims, I'll set those all, I'll get those done first, and then I set them to the side. And then when I want to go do, like, my thinner rims, I break it down and then I do all of those. So you don't really necessarily have to switch it in between each and every cup. Um, you can kind of bundle them together. So does anybody have any other questions? I think I kind of covered um, all the questions that I have been asked. But if anybody has any others, I'm happy to answer those. Um, and the thing is, too, and this is one of the, the downsides of um, having individuals on each side. You want to make sure it's even. <laughs> I made that mistake the other day. I got in a hurry, and I didn't. I just kind of grabbed what I thought was what I wanted to take off. And I had four off of one and five off of the other. And that will, and I'm doing this kind of drastically, of course, so you guys can see. Um, but it will make your blade... <clears throat> excuse me for coughing guys it will make your blade set crooked um, and so it'll give you a crooked cut so make sure that um, when you're doing it you have even amount on both sides so that will sit flat <clears throat> and right now they are in stock so they do ship out same day the colors again real quick so pixie pink blood red pumpkin orange zombie green tardis blue magical blue 
and Wicked Purple. So those are the colors, and then black is on its way. So black will be available shortly. Have a wonderful day, and we'll catch you next time.